Hello and welcome to eMultiskills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn some of the commonly used uh, PSQL uh, commands. So I have a Linux system where in Postgre 12 has been installed and we will see how to use some of the commonly used uh, PSQL command. The first is how to connect uh, PSQL locally on Linux. So I'm logged in as root on this particular system. So let me exit out and this is the root. Uh, I'm logged in. To switch to the Postgre user, I will simply say sudo uh, either, uh, let me take it very simple, uh, sudo su space minus Postgre. You are onto the Postgre uh, OS user ID, then you just say PSQL. So you are logged in as uh, the PSQL. So let's exit out of this and then see other way to directly go to Postgre SQL. So you can simply say sudo u hyphen u Postgre uh, psql. So this will directly take you to the psql prompt. So you are directly onto the psql prompt. And there are other ways as well. Let's say uh, I wanted to log into the Postgre uh, using the Postgre user and uh, so I'll simply say psql hyphen u that is the username hyphen p this is the port name hyphen w this will prompt for the password so I need to know the password of the Postgre user so I'm logged in if you wanted to lo log into psql without uh, uh, Without password, you have to use small w. So uh, p sql hyphen u, uh, this is a username hyphen p, this is a port name hyphen w without password and you are logged into uh, Postgre prompt. There are some other ways how do we log into the uh, p sql or if you have, uh, uh, you can directly use uh, uh, p sql as well on to the Linux environment. So you would simply say psql and uh, you are connected to the post postgre uh, prompt if i have to connect remotely let's say from my local system i wanted to connect to the postgre which is running on to the uh, uh, linux system so what i have to do first is you have to uh, go to the uh, psql binary location in your windows system so I'm on that location. Now I will say psql hyphen u, that is the username hyphen p, port name hyphen h, uh, the host IP address, and then hyphen w, that is it, it is going to prompt for the password. So let us do it remotely. And feed in the password. Just say slash l, and you will be able to see the databases which are running on the remote system. This is how do we connect uh, remotely, uh, ensure that your uh, prerequisites are met. So we are not going to discuss that. Uh, let's see some of uh, other commands. I'm just uh, going to execute it directly onto the Postgre prompt on my local system. So just say slash D, this will show you all the relations onto the particular uh, uh, user. Let's see how uh, what are the different uh, database related commands so slash l this will list down all the databases if you wanted to change to uh, uh, switch to some particular database you have to say slash c and uh, the database name so you are into that particular database and if you directly wanted to connect to a particular database let's say i wanted to do it remotely so what I will do is just exit out of the command prompt and fire this command uh, psql hyphen h host name uh, where postgre server is running then hyphen p password uh, sorry the port then the username and the database so this will connect you to the uh, database directly so you can see that uh, um, um, into the postgre uh, database and connected to the DVD rental database and uh, let's see some of the table related commands so we are going to run it on Linux so if I simply say DT 
it will show you all, a list of all the tables on the connected database. So in, in, in DVD rental, we have so many databases, uh, sorry, so many tables. Uh, if I say slash D and uh, the table name, this will show us uh, the details of that particular table, let's say actor table. So you can see that uh, the column details, indexes and constraints, constraints, triggers, everything is being displayed. If I say DT plus, then it will show some more details. Let's say uh, D plus, uh, let me copy and paste. So I will simply say a D plus and actor name. D plus actor. So this will show uh, some more details related to um, uh, to the table which I am referring to. If I say DT star dot star, so it will show it for for everyone. Let's say for the information schema for so it is going to show me for all the schemas. If you wanted to use the SQL command, so you can use it like this. So it will fetch the information from the uh, information schema. So you can see uh, for uh, uh, the uh, public schema on DVD rental uh, database has so many tables. If you have to list down all the indexes, so just say slash di and it will list uh, all the indexes. Um, and uh, just remember we are into uh, DVD rental database, so it is going to reference it from there. So if I say slash d actor, so this will list down all the indexes onto the particular table, slash d and the table name. And uh, you can use uh, the uh, the SQL statement as well to find out the details. So this will show you all the uh, indexes which are on the particular table. And if I say slash DN, so this is going to list down all the um, schemas uh, in the connected database. So in connected database, we have two schema. One is public, which is the default one, and then we have uh, created a schema, which is app underscore schema. If I say slash dy, this will list down all the events. So there is no event. So if I say slash df, so this will list down all the functions. If I say slash df plus and uh, some uh, function name, then it will display us uh, the, let's say this function name, then it will give us the details of that uh, particular function. And if I say DT plus, this will display all the data types. Uh, then if I say list uh, slash DB, this is going to list all the views. And if we say slash DX, this will list all the extensions. So by default extension will be here only, which is uh, PL PG SQL. And if I say slash X, uh, this will uh, format the result. If we wanted to copy the output into a particular location, let's say if I say select a star from actor and we wanted to put it into a, a file uh, with CSV, we can do that. Uh, I need to mention the location select star from actor to okay uh, let's say slash uh, ds plus this will des plus this will list down all the foreign servers as of now there's nothing and if we say slash des plus then this will list down all the foreign tables i don't have anything and finally uh, regarding the users if I say uh, slash uh, du, this will list down all the uh, users in the database in the entire uh, instance. And if you wanted to see uh, details of a particular user, you can do that. And if there is any kind of mapping, this will be displayed by DE.
u plus so these are list of uh, some of the commonly used psql commands how to uh, connect locally how to connect remotely using the ip address and then we have seen how to connect to a particular database uh, then switch to the database how to see the tables and how to see the indexes uh, then list down all the schemas uh, users functions extensions etc etc so these are some of the commonly uh, used psql commands i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching